equations of motion or kinematic equation those are set of equations are being derived from the equations that we talked about that are describing the displacement the velocity and the acceleration those equations been simplified and optimized and represented to be able to help you to find various parameters based on the problem that you're trying to solve so first kinematic equation or first equation of motion as some people call it that's something you know the acceleration equation is considered the first equation of motion as we discussed acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time which is v final minus v initial over t final minus t initial as simple as that second kinematic equation needs a little more discussion how did the scientist come up with the second equation of motion it is basically the equation of velocity being played around so here you can see a graph of time on the x-axis and velocity on the y-axis as we learned before how to graph the velocity versus time graph now whatever area under the curve or under the orange line that you can see here between the v initial and the v final is representing displacement so that can be translated into the area equals d delta d so the area which equals the change in position or change in displacement equals 1 over 2 we're just replicating the trapezoid area equation over here 1 over 2 multiplied by v final plus v initial multiplied by delta t so you can see here what is i1 it is v initial whatever the v initial value what is i2 it is v final value so v initial plus v final multiplied by w which is delta t over here and now you got the second equation of motion or the second kinematic equation as simple as that the final form of the second kinematic equation to remember delta d or delta s or delta x whatever convention you use equals 1 over 2 multiplied by v initial plus v final multiplied by delta t and this way you can find the change in position or in displacement in any problem as long as you have you have been given the v initial and v final and delta t so we have an example over here on the second kinematic equation you have a train traveling at 16 miles per second v initial 16 miles per second and brought to rest means v final equals zero and t final is eight seconds and t initial could be zero in this case find the displacement of the train while it is coming to a stop and assume uniform acceleration of course since he's asking for displacement and I'm having v initial and v final and delta t in this case I can use the first equation of motion to solve that so that's what you're given and that's what's required delta d or delta s or delta x so we use the equation of motion to find delta d delta d equals 1 over 2 multiplied by v initial in this case 16 meters per second plus v final was zero because the train brought to rest multiplied by delta t eight seconds as t final minus zero as t initial that would give you 64 meters it's a similar question as we solved before but now it is giving you an equation that will give you directly the final displacement in the simplest form third kinematic equation remember the trapezoid we talked about same example you have v final here and v initial here you have delta t here when we use the trapezoid area equation we found the second equation of motion now if we split the shape under the curve into a rectangle and a triangle and we add those two together we will come up with a new form of equation that is called the third equation of motion see how easy to get a new equation of motion just a different perspective you need the area under the curve instead of assuming trapezoid you assumed I need to add the rectangle to the triangle and using the area of triangle here and area of rectangle here add them together then you end up with a third equation of motion very straightforward so the area of rectangle we know so length or the L by the W length by the width 
length here is delta t and the width is v initial from 0 to v initial that's v initial so you have v initial multiplied by delta t and the area for the triangle is 1 over 2 multiplied by the base this is the base multiplied by the height what is the base delta t as you can see here so 1 over 2 by delta t what is the height it's v final minus v initial because it's not a zero that's a v initial so you need to know what is the length of this part over here and you will get 1 over 2 multiplied by delta t multiplied by delta v and you can re-represent that as 1 over 2 multiplied by delta t multiplied by a multiplied by delta t that would give you 1 over 2 multiplied by a which we know it is delta v over delta t multiplied by delta t squared and that will bring us to the third equation of motion to look like this delta d equals the area of the rectangle vi multiplied by delta t plus 1 over 2 multiplied by a multiplied by delta t squared if you need more details on how this equation being revealed in extra more details and step-by-step -step explanation let me know and I will dedicate a lecture for that now the third kinematic equation let's take an example on it a golf ball initially traveling 25 meters per second so that's the initial hits a sand trap so it hit the sand and slows down with an acceleration of minus 20 meters per second squared find its displacement after two seconds so what is given vi a minus 20 meters per second delta t two seconds what he needs delta d the displacement in this case after two seconds now we use the third equation of motion which is saying that delta d equals v by delta t plus 1 over 2 multiplied by a by delta t squared so we have all those parameters as given so it makes sense to use the third equation of motion eventually we'll give you a summary for equations of motion and what parameters each equation is including so in this case when you have a question you don't know which equation of motion you need to use then you know by that table which one you start with to give you the final answer as fast as possible fourth kinematic equation is just retwisting the first representation of the third kinematic equation delta d can equal v final multiplied by delta t minus 1 over 2 by a by delta t squared so instead of v initial over here we had v initial plus now we have v final minus so sometimes you have v final in the question but you didn't have v initial so you can find the displacement using this representation as well example on it speedboat slows down at a rate of five meters per second squared comes to a stop if the process took 15 seconds find displacement of the boat so you have the acceleration here and you know the v final is zero and you know delta t how much time it takes find displacement of the boat we don't have v initial in this case but that's fine using the fourth equation we can solve the displacement without having the v initial so we use the fourth kinematic equation and plug in all the parameters that you're given straightforward 0 by 15 minus 1 over 2 by minus 5 by 15 squared will give you 562.5 meters easy right i'm going fast here because you already learned how to do the hard way of solutions for parameters in the the velocity equation or in the acceleration equation or for displacement so you already did the hard part now kinematic equations are just making your life easier using a certain equation that will directly give you the final answer based on what you are given without doing any hustle fifth kinematic equation same concept you have v final squared equals v initial squared plus two by acceleration by delta d example on that bullet accelerates the length of the barrel of a gun is 0.75 meters with a magnitude of 5 by 10 to the power 5 meters per second squared with what speed does the bullet exit the barrel 
You take your time, don't be confused, see what is given. It's given that the acceleration is, here it is. And you have the displacement, so the barrel, the length of the barrel of the gun. I don't like the, such kind of examples because you need to understand how the gun work to be able to understand what he mean by this value. It's basically the gun have a barrel where the bullet will travel initially after, after it gets triggered. That is 0.75 meters in length. And of course the bullet will exit the gun with acceleration. What is the final speed for the bullet? Use the equation with final speed over here. That's the fifth kinematic equation. And the bullet starts from rest, so V initial is zero. Now you can apply V final and plug in the acceleration and the change in position or distance. And that would give you V final as 896 meters per second. Now, as I promised you, the equations of motion summary. So you have all the equations of motion that we learned from the first one, second, third, fourth. How would you use it? You have the parameters here that could be included in all equation of motion related questions. Now, wherever you see X, that means this equation include, include those parameters. So the first equation is missing delta D. If you have a question asking you for delta D, this is not the equation to use. Now, if you have a question asking you acceleration, then this is not the equation you use because it's missing from the equation. But it have anything else. Uh, the third one, if he's asking for V final, then you can't use it. The fourth one, if he's asking for V initial, it's missing. You can't use it. And um, for the fifth one, if he's asking delta T, you can't find it. As simple as that. So... You can see, okay, from the givens, I have this and this and this. If it was missing one of the, you know, if it have all the parameters that are marked for that equation, then that's the equation to use.